my channel if you're brand new to my channel. My name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. I am here with a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. I'm not going to waste any time whatsoever. I'm just going to jump right into it. Okay, so we've got Easter upon us. Well, it's a few weeks away yet, but pretty much if you see something in the store at this point, you better grab it or else it's gone. I think that's pretty much for anything these days, but they have some really cute things out, and I was very lucky to find some new things at Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's start off with this pinwheel I found. And usually you think of a pinwheel, and they're about yay big, maybe about a foot long. These are ginormous. They are 10.63 inches. I love the iridescent where you get the pinks and the blues and the, oh my gosh, the purples and the yellows. It just depends on how the light hits it. But look at how big these are. They've got a really nice bottom to put into the ground. It's got like a point on there. I ended up picking up two of them. I just thought they were so, so pretty. I love pinwheels. I love the way they look in the sun. Um, they do help sometimes keep birds away if you want to put them in your garden or something like that. But this is definitely a good buy. I don't think you'd probably find this for under five bucks probably at a big department store. Okay, I found some other signs here. They're so cute. I went like sign crazy. Um, let me see here. Let me make some more room. Okay, bear with me here. Bear with me. Okay, so, boy, bear with me a lot. Oh my gosh, everything is falling over. Okay, these are super cute too. These are wood. They're like that pressed wood, okay? These measure... 18 inches in height. Your back is empty, which is no big deal, but look at these Easter eggs that you stick in your yard. So they're yard sticks. And I thought, how cute are these? Like to stagger a few different ones, maybe in the front where I have bushes. I don't think anyone's ever seen the front of the house or the house in particular. Um, but I thought this would be kind of cool. So I grabbed this one here, which I love the pastel pretty colors. Then I found this one with this pattern. Makes me think of Charlie Brown and Snoopy right away. And they all have these little bows. The bows aren't the best. I think I'll probably take these off and maybe do something different. Then they have this one, which I thought was really pretty. Again, they're all yard stakes. And last but not least, I think this one's my favorite. The pretty daisies on there. Okay, two more signs I want to share with you, and these are even bigger. These are really big. Let me see how tall these are. Uh, it doesn't say, so let me measure it real quick. They have this in two different versions. They have it in a wood, and they have it in like a faux tin kind of um, material. Let me just get some of the dust bunnies off. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. Happy Easter! Oh, look at the little bunny hanging out. Look at his little butt with the fluff ball. Isn't it adorable? These are so cute. So here's the rest of the sign. And of course, if this is too long, you can always cut it off. It's not a big deal to saw through something like that. Real simple. You know, if you need it shorter, you can make it shorter. Because in a lot of places, the ground isn't, you know, thawed enough to be able to get a stick this far down. So they had this one in pink. And then they had it in blue. Aren't those, let me see, aren't those just adorable? Are they just too cute or what? I think they're so pretty. I love the little bunny butts hanging out of the back. I think that's so funny. So those were some great finds, all for what I consider to go like outside. And then I found some stuff to go inside. All right, let me share these with you. This was kind of fun. Um, I had some other peep stuff before, but this is a little bit different. This is uh, Peeps, and it's a 16 count. You just add water. So you just get a paintbrush with just a little, little bit of water, and then there's your paints. And then you can paint your Peeps. Paint your Peeps! Something super cute um, for Easter baskets or Easter stockings or something like that. Yes, I said Easter stockings. That's my sign. That's mine. I patented it. It belongs to me. All right, so then I'm going down the aisle and I did like a quadruple take because all of a sudden I come down an aisle that it, what was the houseware department? The last place that I would ever expect to see 
one of these. Oh, look at that. No, he's so cute. These are adorable. Now, trust me, just my opinion. They're cute. They're adorable. They're not perfect, but you know what? Nothing is perfect. Um, I'm just letting you know, you know, you could definitely get more bang, I think, for your buck 25, but you know, it's all about having fun. These measure 14 inches in height. Now, these are made of felt. There are beans. Uh, actually, it's probably, it feels more like rice. So there is rice in their butts. So I'm going to bring it in nice and close. So they have these two little felt, and these are their foots. And then here's their arms. I just want you all to get a really good look at them. There's their arms. And then their noses and beards. And their ears, which I kind of opened up a little more. I mean, you could close them if you wanted to, but I just think it looked a little bit better by fanning them out. But that's just me. You could definitely dress these up some. You know, um, you could. I kind of like it with the hat tipped a little, so I would probably get my hot glue gun and just go. Tsk, but that's just me. So here's what it looks like from behind. You know, I mean, like I said, they're not. They're not bad. I mean, they're not bad. So there's the blue one I found. And then I found this pink one. They're all the same size. And again, I kind of fan out their ears. Like I would get some white felt and probably put some white in here just to make that pop a little bit more. So there's the pink one. And oh, my favorite color, <laughs> purple. I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. So here's the purple one. And again, I just think I would take my glue gun and just do a little bit of a bend. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I'd even put a little ball on the end. Um, but the purple obviously is my favorite. So these were the only three I found. So if there are more, I'm just not aware of them. I didn't see them. But I mean, for $3.75 plus tax, it is cute. It really is cute. And of course, I got more than one set because, you know, I do like to give giveaways. All right. Also, now, these were kind of fun. These were in a department in the front where they have, like, um, all the Easter stuff. They have, um, yeah, what am I trying to say? Little boxes of things to put in Easter baskets. Just like at Christmas time, they have little things to put in stockings. So I came across these, and I was like, how cute are these? And I love the fact that they did them in different styles. All right, so these are bath bombs. How cute to put in Easter baskets, right? Um, it says color twist bath bomb, cotton candy scented. And look at that packaging. Is that just adorable or what? Of course that packaging is gonna grab my eye because I'm a big unicorn freak, but isn't that adorable? So they had this unicorn one. They also had this one here, which is jungle berry scented there's the packaging for that one and it's just got you know you just tear it right across here's your back it gives you all the information that you want then I really got excited because I'm just such a big kid inside but I thought how fun are these these are peeps chicks rule marshmallow scented bath bombs what? Get out of here. They never had anything like this when I was a kid. So it says hidden color inside. So I found this one, with his, which is chicks. And this one here, which is also marshmallow scented. And it's bunnies. Isn't that adorable? How cute are these, right? These could be for any age, I think, really. Thank you, Mia, for kicking mommy's camera. <laughs> so I did get a couple of them because I thought the more the merrier for extra treats for grab bags, giveaways, and for Easter baskets. <clears throat> okay, moving along. Oh, here was another something fun I found for Easter baskets. A lot of times you, you give a child or anyone a box of crayons and they're broke within five seconds. When you've got little ones and you want entertainment, I always used to keep these, not this specific brand, but these little small packs of crayons and I haven't seen them in years. You get four crayons in a box and first of all, I grabbed them because they're the small packs. I also grabbed them because it was Dr. Seuss. So you get two, four, six packs of four. And it's just something small. If you're going in a restaurant and they don't have menus anymore with crayons because of, you know, COVID or whatever it is, 
throw one of these in your purse. I used to keep a couple, you know, um, I would tear out a couple pieces of the coloring book or I would keep a coloring book in my car all the time. And when I'd go in with my daughter, you know, I was a single mom. So going in with my daughter, it was like I needed her to be entertained. I would put the coloring book and I always had it with me. So little small packs like this are great, you know, because it's just convenient. I know you're probably spending maybe a little more on the long range, but sometimes you spend a little more for the convenience when you've got your hands full. Okay, now, oh, <clears throat> stationary section. I try to, you know, separate stuff for you the best I can. Sometimes I do just kind of dump stuff on the bed. I happened around the corner over by the Hallmark and I needed some thank you cards. And this one says, just a little thank you. Isn't that cute? Look at that little teddy bear hamster. I had one of those when I was a little kid. Holding the flower, it's blank inside. This is genuine Hallmark, so you're getting eight of them. Even for the 125, it's still a deal. It really is, and I just thought they were so cute. Sticking with stationary stuff, I also found, these are made by Jot. The stickers do come off on the back. These are 60 sheets. They're four by five and three quarters. They've got this type, it's like a hard plastic, but pliable. So it's hard, but not super, super hard. It's got this uh, little band right there. You pop it open and you have got yourself a set of notepads. This is really nice. I mean, it's got two separate. So you get 30 and 30 on each side, 30 sheets and 30 sheets. What's nice about it, it's flexible. It, you know, it's private. You, it's perfect. And it's cute. How pretty is that for spring? To put in your purse for notes or you're out garage sailing or shopping. I always have notes with me. I also found this style, which I thought was super cute and fun. It's the same on the front and the back. And the sticker, again, comes off. And last but not least, they had this pattern. And again, they're all the same on the inside. Just on the outside, you've got some different patterns. I thought they were so cute. Put it in your tote bag or something like that. Um, These were a new find. These are Happy Easter Paper Straws. You get 18 in a package. I love the fact that they broke up the package to so many different colors because they could have just made it all one color, which would have been fine. But for crafting, when I'm doing my full cupcake toppers and things like that, once you trim it down, these are perfect for adding into my cupcakes. So I was happy to find those. Those are super cute. I love, love the pastels. I really do enjoy the pastels. All right, I need to scoop because I went from one end of the table over here to the other. Bear with me. This is going to be a big Dollar Tree haul. I might have to split it up. We'll see how it goes. All right. Actually, I have some snacks here. I'm just going to hit you up with the snacks because I can't even reach over there. Uh, this is a new find at Dollar Tree, and uh, these were Kit Kat bars. I was like, okay, so let's do the math here for a minute. I'm like, you get five bars one two three four five you get five bars and there's two bars in each one so two and two is four that makes one Kit Kat normal size so you're basically in this you're getting two full-size Kit Kat bars and a half two and a half Kit Kat bars but then if you break it down even smaller because the sizes are smaller you're technically getting two full-size Kit Kat bars in this so if you're at Dollar Tree and you want to shop candy, you would spend the $2.25 for one of these and get the same amount that you would spend $1.25 for one of these. Just food for thought if you're watching your pennies. Because just because you're at Dollar Tree, you know, you got to remember to do the math on some of the products. That's all I'm saying is some products are just, you know, more sensible than others. You cannot sit on mommy's lap. Um, I know, sweetheart. Did you hear the, the things jingling? This is not food for Mia. I love you. You still stink from before. Are you going to like totally crash this video? Huh? I don't think people are here to see you. They're here to see the stuff mommy bought. Okay, you really can't stay here. Mommy's got a video to do. Look at here. You want to look into the camera? Oh, oh, there you go. Okay, are you leaving me now? Okay, I guess she's decided to make her debut and split. All right, so let's continue. We're going to keep it rolling because that's how I roll here. All right, I found some new snacks. Now, I'm from Chi-Town, Chicago, 
Whoop, whoop, besides that. I know I go that a lot, but I'm very proud of where I come from. Um, and that's just, I am unhappy. I'm proud of where I came from. Anyways, back home in Chicago, everything is hostess, 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 hostess. Love it to pieces. When I came out here to New York, it was like there was no hostess to be found. It was basically Drake's. I think Drake's is pretty much the big one out here. Back home, it's Hostess and Edmonds, I feel. Here, it's more like Drake and what's the other one? I can't think of it off the top of my head. Anyways, I'm now starting to find more and more Hostess stuff. Um, and I just think it's cool that it's finally like coming back around again. And a lot of the snacks we had before are coming back around again. I mean, I was born from the age when Ding Dongs and Ho-Hos were wrapped in tin foil. Who remembers that? Who remembers Ding Dongs and Ho-Hos wrapped in tin foil? Hit me up down below and let me know. Anyways, Hostess Jumbo Honey Bun Iced. Oh, you put one. You know what? Look it. It's warm where I had it. See the icing? You could see the icing melting right there. Look at that live from New York. Well, see the icing melting? Look at that because it's sitting over by something warm. I have a cup of tea over there and it was right next to it. So it started melting in the package. So that just means I have to eat it. Anyways, 4.75 ounce, one big honey bun. Yum. Something totally new. Never seen these before. I just showed you the other day Oreo casters um, that my daughter just loves. These are Nutter Butters, which I love Nutter Butters. It's probably one of my favorite uh, peanut butter cookies. This is Nutter Butter Casters. Um, bu 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 bu. You get three cake. You know what? Hell, I'm just going to rip this sucker open and show you all. I'm curious because I do love Nutter Butter cookies. I'm not so sure I'm going to love these, but you don't know until you try, right? You can't say you don't like something until you try it. You don't like it, you spit it out. You just spit it out in a napkin, not on someone. Okay. These are so cute. They look like little macaroons. Macaroons. Aren't those cute? They smell really good. Definitely smells like the cookie, so I'm going to just give it a try. I need a sip of my tea. Okay. Definitely has the smell of nut butter. Definitely has the taste of nut butter. The cake, very moist. The filling, which, let me see if I can pull this off. There's the filling. So you get quite a bit of filling. For me, I think it's the, <laughs> I actually like the cake more by itself than with the peanut butter, but that's me. Okay, moving on. They had a big display of the Junior Mints in the 3.5 ounce. I usually keep a box of these in my freezer. And sometimes it's nice to have a little after dinner mint. Just pop one of these out of the box and I got one. Also picked up a Butterfinger. Who doesn't like a shake with Butterfinger crunched up in it? Oh. So every now and then I'll put a Butterfinger in the cabinet. So if I have a taste for, oh, I feel like I have cookie all over me. So if I have a taste for a shake, I throw one of a Butterfinger in there and oh my gosh, yummy promise you yummy some more snacks that i found these are by a company called better made i don't know what it was called before crappy made i don't know but these are barbecue flavored potato sticks this is a three ounce package these come from detroit michigan and let me see miss mia you can't have any of these my love oh these are gluten free i had no idea what, what? No, no, don't eat mommy's paper. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Well, it says Detroit. So anyways, they had sour cream and onion, three ounce. And then they had this sweet barbecue flavor. I'm just thinking, I'm wondering if these are going to be super salty. What is the sodium in these? Ooh. Wow. 260 milligrams. Well, not like you eat a whole ton of these at once, but I do want to give them a try. 
Let's see. Oh yeah, they're like little shoestrings. <laughs> Look at those little baby. They're like little baby french fries. Can you tell I haven't had breakfast yet? And it's like two o'clock something Eastern time. Those are good. I would definitely get those again. All right, some more snacks I found, which were new. Cheez-It Snap Cheesy Thin Crisps. These are 1.5 ounces. They say double cheese. So I grabbed two packages of those. I'll spare you guys a taste test. I might be driving you nuts by now. Also some cheese. Will you hit mommy's camera? Some Cheez-Its in the original. This is a three ounce bag. I like to keep little things like this around because like when I'm running grandpa to the hospital or I'm going to be in the car for a long time, I like to have something in the car with me or in my purse because you just never know. Uh, another find, which was new, I've never even seen these before, Warheads, which is that really sour candy. It says new. It says sour, sweet, and fruity, chewy candy. 3.59 ounce. They're chewy bars. And they're individual bars. And I thought, okay, well, that would be fun for an Easter basket because I can open it up and put little candies in each Easter basket. Or you could put the whole thing in there if you wanted to. I like the fact that it's separately packaged because then you can spread things out a little bit more. Um, for snack, oh, there was one other snack. Another Hostess item, which these are good. I love these. They're not the same shape they used to be. These used to be round. Um, cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. Yum. I don't know why. Dollar, whoops, that's Mia. Dollar Tree must have a new contract with Hostess because I've never seen so many Hostess items at Dollar Tree before, at least not the ones here on the East Coast. Um, so I'm thinking that must be some kind of new thing that Dollar Tree has. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video for now because I have so much sitting here on the table next to me. It really is a big video. Um, I do want to say, I did want to say something and my mind just went bloop. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and end this for now. So I will continue with another video once I get, hello, may I help you? Once I get Miss Mia settled and figure out what it is that she needs, <laughs> because she is the boss of the house, I will come back with you with video number two. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.